All right, let's uh, get him up here and let me check him back and see how bad they are. Here's the evidence of this horse being a chronic, see? The wide and thick and laminate, or it's this spread out. So we're going to test him on the back to see if he's how sore he is. Whether we need to put a package on the back also. Yeah. You can see, wet. You can see here the it's damaged laminates. It's superfluous plus it's creating a longer lever arm, more lever for leverage for the to pull on the weakened laminate. So I'll just remove that. Good fella. <coughs> Same way here, we've got this flare from the cast lamina. Plus, you can see we got some infection starting there, probably. White lines. Rush. Pretty much the same process we did on the front. We hit. Taking this light shoe and bevel it around the second nail hole. Put that weight on the front. Same thing, get it on expeditiously and, and uh, pick up the other foot and load it. Whoop, we have back it up. Load that foot to conform the. And if you walk around here and look to the side, I've squared that toe and set it under. Set it, set it under quite a ways. And uh, to move the leverage back on a break over. Help pull the stress off the off the uh, flexor tendon.
doing the break over back. Not ready. Pick that foot up. Hang on just a second. Seen. And all my severe laminitis cases from last year have been dwindling by the wayside, you know. Attrition, I mean, they're we're getting to go on, you know. And so I was about to run out of cases, I'm a church here. Right? Mm. 